It's a tipsy nipper. They're made by Slingsbury, actually. Um, and it's, uh, it was built in 69. Um, but it was fitted with a special aerobatic engine about 12 years ago. I flew it around for one year and then, although I was doing aerobatics, it was all a bit aimless, so I decided the best way was to enter competitions, which gives you a, you know, a focal point sort of thing. So I did that till, what, four years ago. And, uh, I, I was sort of, I'd had, I'd had enough of it by then, you know, I'd, I'd, you reach a plateau where you, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't rise in aerobatics because the aeroplane was limiting me. And you know, I got a lot of whiz kids coming along with whose fathers had bought them sukhois and so on. And uh, for the first few years, I could virtually guarantee to be in the first six, and then it slipped back to the first 12. So I thought, well, that's it, I'll give it up. So um, I just fly it for pleasure now. a modified VW Beetle engine but it's modified to be fuel injected and it's got a special oil system that will operate upside down very very responsive you know you've only got to sort of think of moving the stick and it does something so some people who've flown it have found it quite twitchy but I found coming from gliders they're, they're a little bit twitchy you know? It's very, it's very, very responsive. I've flown a home-built aircraft of the same size and similar type, and it just didn't compare with this for responsiveness. So, so. But, I mean, this was a professionally designed aeroplane. It was designed by the Ferry Aviation Company in Belgium originally, back in the 50s.